Hello friends, have you ever wondered why you should understand financial statements? Financial statements are the language of commerce and the balance sheet and the profit and loss account tell the full story of a company in the language of commerce. If you are a student learning management, an entrepreneur starting or running a company or just an informed citizen who wants to invest in a company, it's very essential that you understand how to read and make sense of financial statements called balance sheet and profit and loss account. In today's video, we are going to tell you how you can read a balance sheet and understand what that balance sheet is telling you about the company. Let's start by understanding the story of a company which I'm going to call Widgets Inc. This company makes something called Widgets. And let us say that you have started this company and you have brought in $100,000 of which $60,000 is your own money from savings and another $40,000 is loans that you have taken from bank. Now what did you do with this $100,000? You used $75,000 to buy land and machinery that is required for making widgets and then you manufactured and sold these widgets. At the end of the year, let us say you started in the 1st of January 2014 and at the end of the year, let us assume that you had $15,000 left and you also found that you had approximately $10,000 left as cash which you put in the bank. Now if you want to say the same story in financial terms, how would you say it? You have brought in money which is called the source of your money. This money consists of $60,000 of your own money and $40,000 which is borrowed. And what did you do with this money or the use of money? You used this to buy land and machinery costing $75,000. Money was stuck at the end of the year in the form of unsold widgets and raw materials approximately $15,000 and you also had cash. So therefore together you brought in $100,000 and you used $100,000. This is exactly what a balance sheet tells you. The total money that you brought in has been accounted for. The totals are the same or balanced. This story is represented normally in a tabular form. A balance sheet consists of two columns. One column is called the source of funds or the liabilities. The other is called the use of funds or assets. Liabilities have the balance sheet consists of money that you brought in, which is called equity, and money that you borrowed from banks, which is called debt. And the right side of the balance sheet consists of assets, which is how you've used these funds. You've used these funds for buying capital assets, which are plant, machinery, which are long-term in nature. And you've used it to buy current assets or short-term assets, which are raw material, etc. Now, how does the balance sheet balance? The source of money, that is your own money as well as the borrowed money, is on the left-hand side. And it is equal to how you use the money, which is on the right-hand side. In summary, a balance sheet shows the status of a company expressed in currency terms. It could be in dollars, it could be in rupees, it could be in any currency of the world on a specific date. You must remember that a balance sheet is a snapshot of a company. It's like a still photograph of a company as on a particular day. Now let us understand these terms, liabilities and assets a little more. What are liabilities? Liabilities are what the company owes. Owes to whom? Owes to those people who have brought in the money. This is called equity. It also owes money to those from whom it is borrowed, which could be banks or financial institutions or suppliers who have given you material on credit. This is called debt. If it makes any profit, this profit is also owned by the people who brought in the money or the shareholders. The balance sheet may also have something called provisions or surpluses or reserves. Provisions are the money that you keep aside out of your profit for a future contingency. Surpluses are the additional profit that you earned over the years, which is all lying as part of the money that you owe to the equity holders or the owners of the company. What about the asset side? The asset side reflects that which a company owns. What are these? These are land, these are machinery, these are vehicles, these are buildings. This is known as capital assets. The company also owns 
short term assets which are called current assets these consist of the money value of unsold items unused raw materials known as inventory it is goods sold on credit for which the money is still not collected from your customers it is balance money that you may have at the end of the period in the form of cash or deposited in banks or invested in bonds so therefore if you look at the widgets balance sheet which we discussed earlier it has got two columns as you can see one is the liabilities and one is the assets the liabilities total is 100000 the money that you brought in and the assets side is also 100000 the way you have used it now to understand balance sheets better let us add a few more events in the life of this company let us fast forward to the end of 2015 another year has passed this time the company has made a profit of $18,000 it has now $14,000 worth of widgets and raw materials unsold its customers are to pay it $8,000 and this company owes its suppliers $6,000 now if you were to reconstruct this balance sheet how would it look the left hand side or the liability side now consists of $124,000 and equally the right hand side the assets is also $124,000 the profit that the company has earned $18,000 has been shown in the profit side in the reserve side the debt is $40,000 and because it owes its suppliers $6,000 it's also a short term liability which is shown here and on the asset side now the assets have become $75,000 because you have invested in land and machinery to that extent your stock in hand has gone up to fourteen thousand dollars you still have eight thousand dollars to receive from your customers and you have a cash in bank of twenty seven thousand dollars as you can see this one table gives you the complete history of this company over the last 12 months and it tells you what is the status of this company now now this is a very very fundamental statement of the company and if you see the balance sheet of most commercial organizations in the world you'll find that it it is taking exactly the shape it may be little it may look a little more complicated because it has got more details but essentially all balance sheets are the same and if you have understood this basic fact of a balance sheet it should be possible for you to read a balance sheet normally in a commercial balance sheet you would not just give one year's numbers, but you would give two years numbers. For example, in the case of widgets, you would have given the numbers for 31st December 2014. And alongside you will be given the figures of 31st December 2015. So it helps you in comparing companies. Another fact about balance sheets is that against every line item in a balance sheet, you will have something called schedules. For example, in say current liabilities, it will be written as schedule 15. What does it mean? That if you go to that particular page in the balance sheet called Schedule 15, you'll get the details of what this debt is all about. So what the schedules do is, the schedules elaborate what is already mentioned in the balance sheet. The balance sheet is a summary and the schedule is an elaboration. So if one reads the balance sheet along with its schedules, almost everything that you may want to know about the company can be understood from this particular balance sheet. There is another very fundamental statement which needs to be read alongside the balance sheet and that statement is known as the profit and loss statement the profit and loss statement looked along with the balance sheet tells you everything that we, you may want to know about the company and in the next video we learn about profit and loss statements thank you